MEMS pressure sensor. These kind of sensors are the highest selling MEMS sensors in the world. This, uh, this pressure sensors, MEMS based pressure sensors are used in uh, automobiles extensively, especially in uh, manifold air pressure sensors, rail pressure sensing, oil pressure sensing, etc., etc. In many cases, they use. In all the pressure sensors, typically differential pressure sensing is done. Differential pressure sensing means the pressure difference between the sides of a diaphragm or two chambers are sensed and that gives an indication of the pressure to be sensed. Let us see about two kinds of MEMS pressure sensor, the construction and working. Now, piezo resistive type of pressure sensors are one type. As the name indicates, piezo resistivity is used to sense the pressure variation. Piezo resistivity means when pressure is applied, the resistance of an element changes. So such elements are used to sense it. In MEMS pressure sensor, the sensing element is typically a diaphragm that you see here. In the construction of a MEMS pressure sensor, typically it will consist of a base pyrex ba glass uh, base. There will be another pyrex cavity, a cap, top cap. There is a sensing diaphragm typically made of polysilicon. The polysilicon will be resting on a silicon ring. The silicon ring is a bulk micro machined part. On the diaphragm, there will be piezo resistive elements deposited, embedded, that is on that scale. So, these elements, what happens is when a pressure is applied to this diaphragm and the diaphragm, if it deflects, the stress will be introduced on the piezo resistive element, thereby causing a change in resistance. So these piezo resistive elements are kept in connection with or, I, or these elements are part of a Wheatstone bridge. So when there is a deflection for the diaphragm, then that causes a change in voltage for a Wheatstone bridge which is connected by means of the piezo resistive elements. Now the working is, if we have a line for which the pressure is to be sensed, the line will be connected to this cavity. So, because of this construction, there are two cavities formed, a ca top cavity here between the diaphragm and the cap and a bottom cavity between the base and the diaphragm. Now, when the pressurized fluid is rushing into the chamber, this, piece of, uh, this diaphragm will be deflected against the pressure of fluid, whatever available here. So, the deflection of diaphragm is because of the difference in pressure between the pressure in this cavity as well as this cavity. So that is called as a differential pressure sensor. This is another kind of pressure sensing called as capacitive type pressure sensing method. Here also the construction is much similar to what we have seen before. Here again there is a pyrex glass base, there is a cap of pyrex and there is a sensing element that is a surface micro machined element, it's, it's a diaphragm. Now the work, the sensing of deflection of the diaphragm is done by means of capacitance. For that, there are conductive sheets are deposited on the deflectors. You can see these kind of patches here, one, two, three, four, these kind of patches are conductive plates that are deposited or embedded on the diaphragm. Similarly, capacity plates are embedded on the bottom side of the top cap also like 1, 2, 3, 4 here. Here that this conductive plate and this conductive plate together forms a single capacitor. Similarly, these two forms another capacitor, these two form another capacitor, this another capacitor. That means in this diagram itself we can see that there are four capacitors and here there are two capacitors on the extreme end, one and this one, this two. These are positioned on the extreme position such that even if there is a change in or the deflection happens for the diaphragm, the capacitance for this are negligible because, because it is on the edges. So variation won't be uh, uh, higher. Variation 
won't be uh, appreciable. So these capacitors are called as reference capacitors, whereas the capacitors here and here are called as sensing capacitors because when the diaphragm sense, uh, senses a pressure, it will deflect. And when it is deflected, the gap between the capacitors here and here, it will vary. The gap reduces, the capacitance will vary, right? So that is the reason for a change in capacitance. So the working is, here it is, when a pressurized fluid is rushing through this opening, the fluid will be coming to this chamber, this cavity number two, say here the cavity number two, and against the pressure that is available in the cavity number one, the diaphragm will deflect. When there is a deflection, the extreme reference capacitors will not have any change in capacitance, whereas the sensing capacitors will have a change in capacitance because the deflection causes bringing the capacitance plates together or close to each other. So these capacitance are sensed to sense what is the deflection of the diaphragm. In fact, the deflection of the diaphragm is an indication of pressure difference between the pressure inside the chamber number two and the chamber number one. Here also the differential capacitance is sensed, differential pressure is sensed. Now a very important thing we have to notice in the case of differential kind of pressure sensing using MEMS capacitor is that we can use differential pressure sensing method by using MEMS pressure sensors for sensing gauge pressure or it can be absolute pressure or it can be differential pressure depending on what is the pressure available in the cavity number one. If the cavity number one is a vacuum, then the deflection will be happening against the vacuum because of this pressure. In that case, the pressure given by the system is absolute pressure. If the open, this cavity number one is exposed to atmospheric pressure, then this deflection happens for the diaphragm is against atmospheric pressure. So the pressure given by the sensor will be gauge pressure. Similarly, if this cavity is filled with some gas having non-pressure, then the deflection of this uh, uh, the, uh, the diaphragm is because of a differential between this cavity and this cavity. In that case, the pressure given by the system is a differential pressure. MEMS pressure sensors have got a lot of applications uh, rather than that are used in automobiles or any other sector. Here it shows an application of pressure sensor with catheter tip. Here, this pressure sensors are attached to the catheter tip that are used for surgery. So we know that when there is surgery, the pressure of the patient need to be monitored very critically. These are capable to measure pressure drop in the coronary arteries more precisely. The sensor is well accepted by medical doctors and is used all over the world nowadays. This sensor is used commercially in balloon dilatation for monitoring of the blood pressure in real time during the surgery.